Hello. So, I got another great find. I was in the store a few weeks, a couple weeks ago, and I came across this. It's a Smith & Wesson Model 28-3. It's the later versions of the 28. So, basically what it is, is it's a Model 27 with a dulled finish. And they got rid of, like, uh, on the 27, it had uh, ribbed, or it was, like, grooved there. So, uh, they got rid of that, make it a little bit more cost-effective, and they went with a duller finish. So, that way, um, they they didn't have to polish it and all that. So, um, as you can see, it's in pretty good shape. It's got some wear. So, uh, you know, like, on the barrel... It's got it on the cylinders and stuff. Typical places that you'd see it from being used as a, you know, police-type weapon. I mean, the handles are a little screwed up, or chewed up, I should say. Uh, it did come with pack Myers on it, but it also came with the factory grips, which I love the factory grips. pack Myers good, but I, I like the... Uh, grips on this the smaller handles not so much but these i really do like them so um this is an end frame revolver so you can see like the spacing in in the cylinder it's got these huge gaps because they they really made it beefy this eventually went on to be uh they made 44 magnums on the same frame but this was earlier in the uh 357 stages you know the 357 was fairly new when they started coming out with these and these were basically carried by most uh, police officers up until they switched to semi-automatics so all i got with the gun was the uh pack myers and the grip um it, i did get a case you know and since it was red and you know Make America great because he also they they gave me one of the mags, you know the Trump mags. So I kind of went with this whole Make America Great theme because you know this was a great revolver during the, you know the history of America. So let's start off with the basics, like I usually do. So uh, this is an all steel frame, so it's a little heavy. So yeah. 44.5 pounds. So, um, let's get this out of the way so we can do trigger pulls and stuff like that. So, uh, as you can see, it is empty. And we'll do a single action trigger pull first. So, I got 2 pounds, 13 ounces. So it's definitely a, it's a light trigger. It could be that it's just worn in. And now we'll do it double action. So these are always hard to do double action revolvers. So I got eight pounds, 15 ounces. Uh, so about nine pounds, which is pretty good. It's a little lighter. I mean, some of them times that they're a little bit heavier than that but you know it's definitely been worn in and it's you know feels great it's rock solid uh, you know i was checking the timing and the timing was really good for it um the sights on it are adjustable uh they're just black sights they got the serration on the front i don't know how well you can see that but they are adjustable so that's always a plus. And it's an end frame, so it's a nice big heavy gun. Definitely could take lots of abuse. And uh, let's see if you can see the stamping for the model. I don't know if you can see it in there. Yeah, it's not really focusing. But it says it in there, what it is. So it's a Model 28-3. And here on the barrel, it says it's a highway patrolman. So it's kind of like the Colt Trooper that I got. They just called it a highway patrolman's chambered in 357 Magnum. 
So why don't we take it out to the range and see how it shoots. Hello, so today we're gonna to look at the Smith & Wesson Model 28 Highway Patrolman in 357 Magnum. Let's see how it shoots. Gonna shoot another cylinder full. No problems. Again, this is the Smith and Wesson Highway Patrolman Model 28. So out at the range, we were shooting at 10 yards, and ignore the little pellets. I was doing multiple videos, so um, those are from a 410 shotgun. <laughs> they spread more than I thought they would, but you could see. Now, the first ones, I did double action kind of quick. Uh, I got some stray flyers, but those those were the, all the ones from the 357. And then I did another round later, and I got them closer there where I pulled it back, the, you know, pulled the hammer back, did single action, and I definitely tightened up the group. So this was all double action, just kind of quick. So the accuracy is there with a six inch barrel. It's nice. They did come with a four inch, six inch, and eight and three eighths inch barrel. They were produced between 1954 to 1986. And, uh, you know, they were what most officers carried and me i love the old revolvers um i don't know if i'm gonna re-blue it i know you're not supposed to because of um value but you know i don't think this is gonna go up too much more in value um i only paid six bills for it so uh that's a pretty good deal for a smith and western revolver considering nowadays they're like you know something like this would probably be 12 to 1500 for you know an end frame revolver so um i might reblue it or do touch up on it uh my brother did a complete reblue on a star bm and it looked like brand new when he was done so i may do that but you know because it's, it's just i got little spots because you know we'll see but i love the revolver i love these old smith and wessons and I was happy when I found this, bought it right away, didn't end up buying a bunch of other guns that I was planning on buying because I saw this one. But, you know, I'd rather have this than some of the newer ones. I can get the new ones anytime. This will sit on the shelf for a couple of days and be gone. So that's why I picked it up. But it's a great find. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully you have a good day.